Hello viewers, my name is Rita and I'm your host on this channel. Thank you for joining us once again on today's episode. And today we're going to be talking about some seven things that people do that makes them to be constantly broke. They are working or they are doing businesses but they are always complaining of being broke. The more they make the money, the more they think of being broke. In life, there are some things we don't have control over. We don't have control over the family we want to come from, either from a rich family or from a poor family. We don't have control of the country we want to come from. We don't have control on our background. And so the little things we have control over, why not let's do them well so that we'll be able to make headway. There is a little difference between the rich and the poor. How do I mean? The way the rich people spend their money and their time is different from the way the poor people spend their money and their time. In life, we all have 24 hours. And the way and manner we use our hours, our day, depends on how we're going to make headway later. The poor people, they wake up very late. They do all sorts of things. And before you say jack, 24 hours is gone. But the rich people, they know what they do with their 24 hours. And after a while, when they take stock, you will see them, they are representing. They are rich. And so, today we're going to be talking about seven things that people do that makes them to remain constantly broke. You see some people, what they spend on clothes, what they spend on shoes and luxury and irrelevances, you will know is not worth it. And when you constantly do this, spending your money on liabilities, on things that will be giving you more problems, then, believe you me, you will always think you're broke. And so, one of the things that people do continually that makes them remain in this negative thing called being broke is gambling. So many people, they are doing businesses, they are working, they are corporate people, but they do gambling. And so, when you are always doing gambling, how do you want to make headway? When you are always taking, when you get your salary, instead of you to go home and plan with it, or even plan ahead before you get the salary, Immediately you get the salary, you go to gambling house. There's no gambling house that you do not know. You have friends that encourage you to do gambling. And so when you're constantly doing gambling that has little or no return, how do you want to stay without singing you are broke? So when you constantly gamble, believe you me, you will be broke. Regardless that you're working or you're doing business, when you have the spirit of gambling in you, you will always be broke. Men gamble, uh, ladies gamble. And so as a family man or as a woman in the house, when you are always gambling, what are you? What legacy are you giving to your children? What are you advising your children to do? Gambling that when you invest maybe 10,000 Naira, maybe the first time you get 10,500, you will be encouraged to, to do, to invest the whole of the 10,500 inside the gambling. And third time the money will be coming out it will be less and at times that you even think you're making more the next thing you're going to do is to feast this takes us to the second point after you gamble and you made some small money those friends that you made when you're when you were gambling or that you normally gamble together you carry them you put go and do feast you go and celebrate whatever gain you thought you made and so when you're gambling you are not going to make it it's not a cause there are some people that are so, some so-called rich people that were rich before, but that they had the spirit of gambling. Today, they are no more. They can't. They are not forces to reckon with. Some people they've sold their cars. Some people sold the, their assets to gamble, and at the end of the day, it's nothing to write home about. So gambling will make you to always be broke. Feasting, always feasting. Some people they are not doing gambling. What they are doing is when they get their salary or they make small money from any kind of business they are doing, the next thing is to start drinking, to start ordering for everybody. To declare they want to fake what they are not they want to fake big boy they want to fake that they are rich meanwhile deep inside them they know they have problems they know they, they when they finish spending the money on feasting then their eyes will open and they will not have anything that will sustain them before another paycheck will come and so gambling is not good feasting partying celebrating always you want to do party you want to spend is not good this takes us to the third point luxury people that always involved in buying things liabilities they are always broke when they say ah this is the hair tie that is raining for women you want to have it 
This is the kind of shoe now that people are doing. You want to have it. This is the kind of uh, ash okay people are using right now that is in vogue. You want to have it. And so you're making the rich people getting rich. Why you that you are struggling? You are doing business. You be in the sun from morning to night. You make small gain. Or you're working from morning to night in the office. When you get your paycheck, you use half of it or all of it to go and buy irrelevances. Before you know it, you will be broke. You will not have enough money that will sustain you before another paycheck will come. Even if you have the one that will sustain you before another paycheck will come. Is it buying and buying irrelevances that will make you have savings? Life depends on now and future. And so you have to be judicious. You have to be wise in your spending. Anything that will not add value. Yes, when you wear fine clothes, people will see, but you're faking up appearances because you and I know you are just pretending you want to belong. Most of our parents, the clothes they have used back then, you can't use them again. If clothes were to be assets, then you should be able to, some of them knows how to keep things. You should be able to be able to use the one that they have used that time, use it now, and you still be able to represent. And so because clothes, property like shoes, jewelry, they are not assets. They are liabilities. They spoil. They tend to spoil. After some time, you will not see them again or they will no longer be in fashion. You have to get new ones. When you are the type that you always depend on designer clothes, you want to buy Versace, you want to buy this, you want to buy that, Gucci and Co. Then you will always be singing broke. The rich people, they don't really buy designers. They buy things that they are comfortable with, that they will, they will be able to wear conveniently and comfortably and with little money. But the poor people, they are always faking up appearance. They want to belong to where they are actually not. And so we'll be looking at the fourth point, which is uh, bragging. Because you don't have, but you want to always use your mouth. You want the little money you are making. You want to, you want to belong. You want to belong. Yes, I can. I have it. I can do it. Oh, you bought car. You want to impress me with your car. What concern? If anybody wants to impress you with anything, let them impress. It's their life. Let them live the way you want. Don't use the little savings you have that used to pay for your children's fee that later in future will pay you back or that you used to, you used to build house or to do stock. You go and use it to start bragging and to impress people to do what the so-called rich people are doing. You want to belong. When you are the type that you are not comfortable, you want to impress people, you always be having problem of being broke. So bragging is a major problem when it comes to being broke. Another point is vacation. There are some people, I know people that go for vacation six to seven times in a year. Vacation might not even be in the country they are, it might be in another country. And when you make money, no matter, even if you're earning a million naira at the end of the month, when you start using it for vacations, irrelevances, you do gambling, you do feasting, you travel up and down, vacations, impressing people, you will not be able to have good savings and at the end of the day, you will still be broke. And so this brings us to another point, which is entertainment. What, why can't you watch like a match in your house? Or why can't you watch match in all these uh, centers around where you can, you know, pay some kind of little money and then you'll be able to watch this match? You see some people, they want to go to the country where they are playing the match live and direct. They want to pretend, they want to keep up, they want to fake it. Some people that went there that you want to go and, to want to go and show off with, their country is sponsoring them or their state is sponsoring them or maybe their parents they are very rich but you the little money you are making you gather it together pay all expenses on you to go and watch live match who are you impressing who are you deceiving and so another point we'll be looking at is all this get rich quick scheme we all know that all these people they are smart they will gather themselves two or three or four of them they will gather themselves and think of how to dupe their fellow human being and so when you are the type that you're not contented with the business you're doing or the salary work you're doing and you want to anything that will just let me put more money some people will do they will oversee it for me and at the end of 30 days or some days it will come back to me then you'll be in trouble because when you the, the so-called savings you have when you invest it into this get rich uh, quick scheme at the end of it they can pay you first month second month before you know it it will come back to you. You will be the one that will suffer because they already know in and out of it and they will not be victims. But you, that you don't, you are not part of them. You just want to, because people are making it, people people are doing it from there, you want to join. We all know of MMM, what happened to people. So many people died. So many people were in debt, so many people were in loan. And so, if you don't want to be constantly broke, don't get involved in this get rich quick scheme. There are many, after I met them, so many people have come. So many of them came out again and they always come out during festive season. So you have to be wise in what you're doing. Also, 
Anytime you involve yourself, you want to put your hand where your hand did not reach, then you will always be in trouble. You will always be singing the song of being broke. You see some guys, the kind of clothes they wear, clothes that after three months or six months of washing, or of wearing and changing them, changing and wearing them, before you know it, it will spoil. But because you want to fake that you are rich, you want to fake that you are part of the big boys in town, you keep making people get rich. People that are producing the clothes, keep making them get rich. Why you that you are struggling so hard? Sometimes you be in the sun, doing business, or you work from morning to night in offices. The money you make, they are supposed to put in assets. You are supposed to use in business, you know, buy and sell. You will be using it to enrich these people that are producing clothes. So we have to be very careful in our spending. Let's not impress anybody. We are the boss of ourselves. Whatever you want to be, then you want to be. Your parents might bore you poor. It's not their fault. And it might be their fault. It's not your fault that you're born poor. But if you die poor, you remain poor and you die poor. When you have hands, when you have legs, then it's your, it's your, it's your problem. Because there are some people that don't even have hands. We know. We know most of them. They don't, they don't have hands. They don't have legs. But they are still millionaires. They have families and they are making it. Then you that you have hands, you have legs, some people will come and deceive you, you get rich quick, or some people will come and deceive you with gambling. You cannot think. You're telling other people to think for you. Watch it so that you will not always be having this problem of being broke. Any person or place that is always encouraging you to spend rather than save or investment, you have to run from such people. And so, in this video, if you know one or two people, that are always com uh, complaining of being broke share this video with them so that they will know where they are having problems we hope you like this video please subscribe if you have not subscribed click on the bell button so that i can get updates and we will rely on your comments and contributions so that we can forge ahead thank you and bye bye